And we are live. Yes, once again, Mondo Market TV is live with the best tools for artists and amazing demos. So you can get inspired to create more beauty in this world. I'm Shahar Boyaya, I'm your host for today, and we are going to be talking about concrete jewelry. Yes, concrete jewelry. Prepare to be in awe because there are so many ways that you can create amazing pieces with concrete that you really had no idea. And it can be combined with another passion that you have. Maybe you are a glass artist. Maybe you like sculpting. Maybe you like fiber, paper. Well, did you know that you can combine those and make amazing concrete jewelry. I'm going to have a guest today that she's going to be showing you how to do that. Well, we have several demos for you, so you don't want to miss anything. But there's one thing we need to do before we get started, and what it is, is to share this. I don't know if you are aware, aware, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to my Mondo Market TV page, and I'm going to share this video. When you watch a live on Facebook, it's really important that you share as soon as possible. And why? Because that's the way that the big Facebook guy decides if it shows or not out there for other people to do. So the second that you take just to, to go to a video and share, you can share on your page, you can share on your profile, uh, sometimes you can share in groups. It's, it's very simple. You just click share. And I like to say something like, we are live now because, of course, I'm going to share with people that already know me. But you can say something about, oh, amazing demos on concrete jewelry, for example. That would be more than enough. And then you choose where you want to show and you just put it there. It's that simple. Okay, so do that. Do that. I'm going to, to share one more time because why share only once? if you can do more, right? So I'm going now to share to my profile and then we are good to go. And I'm going to say concrete jewelry live. And then I put on my timeline and people can watch. Really, it helps a lot. Whoever you see that you like, they're doing live on social media, always share it. It really doesn't matter if it's Facebook or YouTube. You might be watching on YouTube, for example, but take a second. Take a second. It's a one way to, to say thank you for the effort of the person being in front of the camera and doing your live for you. Okay. With that said, I want to introduce my guest. And somebody, somebody, oh, oh, oh there you go. Here I am. Oh, do we still have the, the, the studio? I think so. No, <laughs> okay. maybe not. This is Nash. Wait. Oops. Okay, and she's fixing what, what she has now. That's normal, by the way. Uh, so, Nash is my daughter. And, you know, it's a funny story, but I've been doing crafts and arts for a very long time. She, since she was really, really Here I am. There you go. The, whew, that and was a fiasco. She didn't used to like concrete very oh, much. Oh, uh, yes. Concrete crafts as a whole, right? Yeah, you it thought, wasn't really my thing. Yeah, you said it. That's for old people. Well, no, I don't know. I just never thought I had the talent to do anything and what happened? crafty. What happened? I don't know. I decided to start and... I guess I got inspired with Curious Mondo, watching people do some really amazing things uh -huh. and posting in the groups. I was like, well, maybe I should try this. Yes. And, and then I kind of found myself. I liked it. You like the concrete, right? Yes. It's a, what do you like? What, what's fascinating about it? I like, well, I love it how, how it allows you, how it's something so simple as concrete, mm -hmm. you know? And it's something that you normally wouldn't see in a jewelry piece. I love finding these different elements mm -hmm. and just like bringing them together, things that normally would be ugly and bringing them together and making beautiful Very things. Beautiful things, mm -hmm. yes. You know, pick a few pieces for us to show them some of the possibilities with concrete. And while she picks those pieces, I have to tell you, this is an interactive life, meaning that I'm not going to say hi to everybody like, Roxy, hi, Roxy. But if you have questions, do ask. Yeah, put here in the comments, and I'll ask Nashla. So yes. any any moment that you feel like, okay, I don't know this, or I should know this better, or I just have a question, shoot to us. Yes. Okay, so. Well, so just for you to have an idea, I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I think are really cool. Okay. Uh, for example, here's this one right here of the little turtle. Um, this I use. Yay! Yeah, I used uh, here. Look at this, oh, and look I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you a little bit of how I I did created each thing. Those. I created these. 
But for example, this right here, I use a sticker that I bought at the craft store. Yeah. Yes, but and this is, I love this piece, and you can see, see, it's not very thin. I mean, it's not very thick, super light, it's a great piece. That's a, a thing you get questions all the time, how heavy it is, because when people think yes. concrete, they're thinking houses and mm -hmm. heavy stuff, right, yes. and bricks. And then, for example, I have this other one that I did, it's one of my favorite pieces. I love this because it has a story. Like, I find the pieces that I like the most have a mm -hmm. story. Uh, I was in the desert, rock hounding and stuff, and I found this piece of glass. And I liked it. I put some concrete on it, and then I put a little piece of that same piece of that glass on top, and I created this piece that's very different. But honestly, I find it so elegant, and it looks so beautiful, and I love it. Uh, so. so that's an example there. I do a lot of my pieces have glass in them. I, I love using glass. And so, for example, this right here is uh, one that I did also with recycled glass. And you can mm -hmm. see it's more of a three-dimensional piece. I find that sometimes pieces, when they're on your neck, sometimes they flip over and then you have an ugly background. So I like to make them pretty front and back. So this is one of the pieces that I have uh, created. Well, this is this, the concrete right there and then the glass in front and in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but the really neat thing, Shahar, is yeah. that you there's it's limitless. You can do anything with this. You can do, so for example, I just showed you some uh, things with the glass, but um, I, have, I have other things. For example, like I'm gonna, should, I, should we go into a demo right now or what? You know, because we know that the concrete needs to set, and there's time involved and we have a short life. Yes. Uh, so, so talk about the fiber one and then we go into preparing okay. the, so you so guys can do it home I was playing well, with the concrete well. and I actually, there was a classic Curious Mondo that was talking about embroidery and things like that. And I was like, oh man, I wonder if we could incorporate this into the uh -huh. concrete. And so I created some pieces that were embroidered uh, with concrete. So you see, I have the concrete and then I do the embroidery on there. Which and I have super cool. Super cool. I have, for example, here's another one that you can see that I did. I call this like the splatter. Um, and they're, they make for some really fun pieces. And I mean, look, it's, it's elegant. It's gorgeous, Tell yes. me this isn't a gorgeous piece, uh -huh. right? And all I have here, concrete and embroidery floss. Yeah, tell me people, do you think this is awesome or not? I wanna know. I think it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so Nash, so I can go to any hardware store, just get some concrete and get started, right? Well, kind of. Can you wait for 10 minutes, I go there and get it? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's okay. do it. Um, well, here's the thing, Shahar, you try to use regular concrete, you, you might, it might be frustrating. I have to say that when I started, I started, I tried all kinds of concrete, uh -huh. um, and the regular concrete, I was almost giving up on it. Well, it doesn't hold, it doesn't have a lot of strength when we are thinking about jewelry pieces. That's right, it doesn't. Uh, the other thing, it has too many things inside of it, for example, the sand, um, and it just makes it really hard for you to finish and make a nice looking polished, uh, not literally polished, but a nice looking elegant piece. The uh -huh. regular concrete kind of, eh, not so good. But I have, we have this concrete here that I use the super fine concrete and uh, the super white concrete and it works amazingly well. You can see, let me just show you. Actually, we're gonna see it in action. Yes. Should we do something right now? You should mix the concrete to do a first one. I, uh, Sonia is saying, hola menina, she's in hey! Brazil. Hey! And we have Roxy. <laughs> Roxy actually has a question. Uh, I'm going to let you do the first demo. Don't wait, hang on there. Wait, you can, what if you ask going... me the question and I'll do the demo as I do it? Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> okay. All right. And so, Annette is saying I just bought some sticker to use with mine the other day. Very nice. Very Good nice. job, Annette. Okay, so here's what you need to get started. It's actually, this is the other thing that I like. I, you can, I have. You can breathe. Okay. I have zero patience. Yeah. No. So <laughs> my problem with uh, arts and crafts and things like that is that I get started and then I want it to get done. Like I, the, the idea of, for example, spinning something mm -hmm. and then taking an eternity to get that yarn to then make it into a sweater that's also gonna take an eternity, like it doesn't drive with me. Uh -huh. But I love this because really all I need is to start mixing things and within minutes I have a beautiful piece. Okay. So here's what I have. I have my concrete, I have some water, okay? All tap the, water, nothing special about it. Just water, tap okay. water, yeah. So, oh, and I have my measuring spoon. So I have one tablespoon right here that I'm going to use and uh, one teaspoon. So I'm gonna use one, ta one tablespoon of concrete and one teaspoon of water. Mm -hmm. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna grab it from my, my little container here, put it inside my cup, one tablespoon of concrete and one teaspoon of water. 
And of course, this can vary a little bit depending on the weather Absolutely. and where you are, right? Yes. Remember that here where we are located, Utah is quite dry. Yes, exactly. So sometimes you need to add a little bit more. And I mean, you're going to start mixing it and you are it's really a lot of just feeling it. So yes, you can get precise, but you're going to feel how this mixture is for you. And depending on the project that you're making, you might want it a little bit more runny or a little bit more... Um, Solid. Solid, yes. So for example, this is a little too thick for me. Like I can actually pick it up with my with my little thing here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it. Like, oops, well maybe if I get some water, <laughs> yeah, that'll help. So look, just a little bit of water. Ah, now if you check out this mixture, it's more like a pancake mix and you can kind of like get it and it drips and all that. So now I have here, I mixed it. One thing that I didn't tell you was you need some kind of mold. So, well, you didn't tell them, but the thing is, uh, you can have, you can use molds that you have at home. That's what yes. I think is cool, right? Yes. And it is simple. And we always like to tell people, if you want to create some pieces and you're going to a festival, a bazaar, some, something quick that would sell really well, yes. there you go. This is the easiest technique of all. That's right. So right now I'm just using this mold that I have here with a uh, different, uh, pieces. Mm -hmm. I love this because it already has the hole. So like I don't have to drill them or anything. anything so. It's done. So it's which one? A... Should we go with the square or which one? Um, let's do a, an oval one. Oval. You don't have okay. a lot of ovals. I do. It's like I yeah, oval see? and me sometimes we don't get along. And this is just a, a jewelry mold that is used not only for concrete but for resin, uh, so, polymer clay. That's right. So I'm going to yeah. pour it in here. Just that. Just pour it in here just the, until it gets to the rim. I'm going to look just make sure you fill it. You don't want it to completely, you don't want it empty, you're halfway. There. Then I'm gonna give it a little tap tap for bubbles to come out. And I'm gonna, that, there it is. So then I actually have a little bit more left here. I'm okay. gonna fill another one, a smaller one maybe. A square one this time. Let me push it so you can see. Okay, so we are just pouring the concrete. And why would you do that? Uh, Sonia is asking us to speak a little bit in Portuguese, so she just feels comfortable today. Oi, Dona Sonia! Please, yeah. So I'm telling her, could you ever what, really believe that Nashla would go into arts and crafts at all? No, but here's the cool thing. Dona Sonia, <laughs> it, she was my arts teacher in, in school. In school. In elementary in school. Brazil, yeah. <laughs> So I, I think she's really surprised today. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure she is. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Uh, right. Ruxy, Ruxi, I'm sorry if I'm if I'm uh, not saying your name correctly. Ruxi is saying, can you make it thicker so it sets faster? Faster. I had this yes. sink uh, when she was trying to put stuff. Yes. On. You know what? Was it Roxy? Yes. So Roxy, here's, yes, yes, you can. In fact, where I'm at right now in the studio, it's really cold. And so my pieces take longer to set and I forgot about that. So when I mix this, it's too liquid. I bet that when I put the piece in there, it's actually going to sink. So yes, you can make it a little bit thicker so that you don't have to wait as long. Uh, but I have some pieces <laughs> that I put them in. I think it's ready. I put it in they and then it just, like, I have an example. Um, yeah, I know this piece right here, which I love this piece. If you can see here on this camera on the, yeah. So see right there, it's a pretty piece, but yeah. if you look behind it, you will see the truth behind this piece. The truth behind the piece. <laughs> Do you see all these pieces there? These oh, were not in, uh, it, too fast. No. Yeah. They just, they would sink. And then so I'd you put could more. just go breathe <laughs> deep or take a meditation and then come back to this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So essentially that's what I did after like a couple dozen of them sunk. Uh, and I'm just kidding, like half a dozen sunk. And then I just waited a little bit and uh, placed the ones where I wanted them to be originally. And so when this happens, of course, then you end up with a little bit heavier piece. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's okay too. But yes, you can make it a little bit thicker. So... Uh, let's see here. So I have my, I put the, so let's go back to this just so that we can finish one piece at least right now. So you saw that I just placed the, the concrete, the concrete in the mold. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add inclusions. So I have some amazing, some beautiful glass pieces right here. Uh, they have some, like, look at these, look how pretty these are. This now, is glass, right? 
the, this is, yeah, it's sea glass. Um, they're, this is from recycled bottles, mm -hmm. right? So it's really cool. Right. I love these. So this blue one is so pretty. Then I have these that are colorful. Look at these. I love these colorful ones. They make some amazing pieces. So um, these, I, they're, I call them glass cabochons. So I'm going to use these for my pieces. So Shahar. They're very pretty. Um, any suggestions of what you would like to see? Just color. Just I color. color. So I forgot, you know what I forgot to grab? I forgot to grab a tweezer. So I'm going to mm. use my hand, but I recommend using a tweezer. It just makes it a little bit easier. But look, all I'm going to do is place it. So I think this is going to look pretty Ooh, right there. Look at that. And what I find <laughs> with the glass many times <laughs> um, <laughs> is that just one piece of glass makes it so elegant. Well, you know what I like about this? I like to turn things into memories all the time. Yes. Because I'm a big believer in storytelling in everything that you do. There should be a story behind everything that you do. So, for example, uh, we like to go rock hounding. So, Nashla has some pieces here that we actually rock hounded those pieces. And then we used you here. Maybe you have a, a piece of lace from a grandmother. Yes. Or something that it doesn't have a place in your life because, you know. Because what are you going to do with lace? You know, I that mean. That piece of lace. But you could, you could cut that so and add to a piece of concrete and always have your, your granny with you, for yes. example. Yes. Now, so you can use something from your dog, like the hair. You, know, you can play around. Oh, look at this. What are you doing there? Let's so now see. this for the, okay, so for the bigger one here, I added another piece of concrete right there. Uh -huh. I mean, of glass. Now I moved on to this little square, and I'm just adding a little bit of color, like you said. So and I'm now just, it's not so liquid that it's grabbing everything, um, right? Some of this, this little one really might well. still drop, might, might still go down, but... I think it's fine for now. Like so I'm that, liking that's it. That's how uh, it's important for you guys to uh, not make it too liquid, so you don't have to wait a lot before you add your pieces. But yes. look at that. Do you like it, Shahar? Wow, well, I think it's elegant. I like it. I like it too. And what I like about this concrete is how white it is. I think I like it a lot. Yes. Now, yes, mm -hmm. I love the fact that it's white. You can play a lot with it. Um, for example. Just to show you some other pieces that I have uh, here. I have, uh, just to show you, for example, the same idea of the glass. Here's one that I did. I used the same little mold here, and I put one piece of glass. The fact that it's white, I love, because it makes the glass, mm -hmm. it detaches it. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Isn't it pretty? And it's minimalistic, yes, but I think it's just, it's a little statement piece. And it's, I say it's a little statement piece because it's a, it makes a big statement, but it's a small piece. Yes, but <laughs> it doesn't have to be minimalistic. No. And you go according to your taste and your personality. Exactly. Now look, this same, similar thing. This is the same glass that we use. So this is this glass that we just used. Look at that. Uh, the pretty. brown oval. Now look how pretty this is, Shahar. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right? Now, you know, Annette is that, so did you get those glass pieces from Jody? LOL. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, yesterday I posted on the group, uh, uh, a girl that she's actually recycling bottles, glass bottles, to uh -huh. make houses. Really? And I was thinking, easily, Jody already has enough glass for a house. <laughs> oh, easily. yes, that's true. <laughs> now, so before, before you go there, I, I just want to, to make a note that if you don't have concrete around you, I mean, you have concrete around you, you don't have <laughs> this type of concrete, and you would like to get started. We do have a kit today that we are offering. Let's show yes. the kit right now. Yes. And tell me a little bit what comes with that kit. I love this kit, Shahar. And just so, so you can see the kit. Yes, yes, look at that. So I, what I did was, my intention was that you would get, you receive the kit and immediately be able to create pieces. Mm -hmm. And so you get a jar of concrete that you can use. You get even the little stirring, stirring sticks, and you get the little cup, and you get the measuring spoons that tablespoon and the teaspoon. I actually so go you through. don't need to go out to, for anything. There's no, everything there. It's there. But mm -hmm. then, Shahar, I decided to add the things that normally people won't, don't find and mm -hmm. that I think are so beautiful. So you can see there on the corner, on the right-hand side of the screen, you have what I call the rainbow cabochons, the glass cabochons. They're gorgeous. So those are the, the you saw me use a couple of them. They're, they're beautiful. They're so shiny. They have a beautiful shine and a wonderful color to them. They're mm -hmm. almost like candy looking. Yes. Uh, then I have the, the blue, the blue, the little blue cabochons you'll see on the left side of the screen in front of the concrete. Uh, that right there is, uh, I love these because they make some really elegant pieces. I just dropped one, yes, in fact. Um, <laughs> so you, that's that. But then, 
you know what, Shahar? I don't like to just have like boring or just traditional stuff. I am not traditional. Yeah, I know. Right? Uh -huh. And so I've included some pieces that I think would be really cool for you to create pieces yourself that are will really make it make will really be wow. Do you mean so, the glass frame? Yes. Yeah, we so are going to do a demo with that. We're going to do a demo, yes. but you can see here like this glass frame. This comes in. A, you get one of these in the in the kit, and this is a recycled bottle. So this is just the top, the just the bottle. We cut it, and this is it. And then you also get these mini frames of recycled uh, airline bottle type of. Which they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. They're the same. It's that blue. That blue is awesome. Yeah. Uh, so you get this. But then you also have, and I'm going to show them in practice, but for example, right here, this is the bottle bottom. It's the airline size bottle bottom, and it makes for a great pendant. And so then you can put the concrete on top and make a beautiful piece. So you'll get that as well as this this different bottle uh, it has like it's uh, it has a different pattern to it and it comes with one of these so i thought well let's put together a kit that will include the things that are different for people yes, and, and that you can make some stunning pieces and it's quite an affordable kit for you to get started and yes. how many pieces can a person make with this kit oh gosh you can make over 20 because think about it this way all it took just in this example that we did here I did one tablespoon of concrete and we mm -hmm. did two pendants, right? Two pendants. And so if you think about it, uh, it has eight ounces in here okay. uh, of concrete. It's like okay. half a pound of concrete. That um, you can use. Oh, exactly, that you can use. If I course. did one tablespoon, two pieces, you yeah. can make a lot of pieces. Okay, and of course, all the rest, the, like the measuring cups and everything comes together with yes. that. But today, and if for you to get the kit, very easy. As usual, you go to Mondo Market TV dot com Mondo and you market. can get it today if you get this kit you get an extra container of Ooh, concrete that's a deal Shahar. How cool is so that? check this out uh mondomarkettv.com is where you can get the kit it will come with all of the things that i already that, that you see on your screen right now but as a bonus and this is for today only you get an extra jar of concrete so you that's get one super pound saving, of concrete super saving uh, check on the yes. site how, how, how much it costs just the concrete itself mm -hmm. you're going to get two within that kit if you do it today. Got to do it today though. Now Nasha, tell me what's going to be the next demo and why will you get ready for that? I will ask you some questions here. All right, so I'm going to basically I'm just going to leave this set this aside. So it basically take, all How long does it take? It takes around 20 minutes okay. to, for it for you to be so able to So we may be able to a mold that we may but it's really cold, cold in here today. Yeah. <laughs> so i don't know it's but cold all around the country so but you know we'll what leave we it about. i moved it and it, this the one of the pieces kind of sunk we'll see we'll look at it mm -hmm. uh in a minute but anyway i'm going to set this aside now i want to talk to you a little bit about different molds that you can use okay i think that's a good thing for us to talk about so do about. you mind if we if we answer a few questions of here course, before of course go okay. for it okay well we already asked about making it thicker so you saw that this one was kind of liquid Yes, it, it was. Next one thicker. I'll make thicker. Okay. Um, can you get the concrete in bigger sizes, like five pounds? You can call us, uh, but the shipping is not going to be fun, right? Because it's <laughs> a heavy one. Yeah, so right now, the, this is the only container that we have, but I'm sure we can talk about it. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Rexy is also asking, I bought some concrete and made some pieces. Was wondering if you can smooth the top out so it's more like the bottom, so very you know, soft. Ah. Uh, when I've sanded it, it doesn't look so nice because it's nice because it creates texture, right? Yes. So, so what do you do? All right. So the basically you're going to have to explore. Is it Roxy? Yeah. Okay. So Roxy, you're going to have to explore a little. Yes. If you, so when I want to make it smooth and just kind of like the bottom, I don't touch it. So for example, um, let me reach over and grab a piece here. While you do that, Lisanne is saying we are so creative. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Lisanne. Yeah, actually, Lisanne helped us get this company started, yes, right? Lisa so, did. Yes. So check out this piece right here. This we did together in class, Roxy. If you will, if you got the course, you saw it. Um, if we can see this one right here, you'll see that this it looks smooth on the. There's no texture whatsoever on mm -hmm. the concrete. Um, and what I did here is I didn't touch it. <laughs> so I pretty much, I poured the concrete and I put my, my, uh, inclusions in there and then I didn't touch it until it was completely dry. Mm -hmm. So I basically don't sand it and it's nice and smooth. But now let's say you have to touch it. You have to sand it. Then you're going to get your rotary tool and you're going to find the, the polishing stuff that you have. And you're going to work that piece with your rotary tool. Uh, but it's very unlikely that you won't have texture but you can still make it very pretty. Uh, so most of the pieces, 
like I, I sand most of mine, and even then, this concrete. But it's, very, very light sand, right? Yeah, but look, look, this one that I showed earlier, this was sanded, but look, you can't even see, right? It's almost as smooth as the back. Okay. So it's just a matter of maybe uh, going with a finer, uh, finer uh, is it grit that you call on mm -hmm. the very soft, very light touch. Yes, on your and sanding be paper. Be patient. Yes. No. So talk about the modes because we need also to talk about color. Yes, well, I'll talk about the molds, but here, you saw this piece right here. This is using the bottle bottom that, that. that comes cool in the kit. That? I think it's so cool, and everyone who gets this, who get, who sees these pieces, Let me the, see if it's heavy. they love cool. it. Not heavy at all. Nope, not or heavy, and I have some more bottle bottoms there, or if you want to mm, reach I, over. I have no? short arms. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I'll show you just to give you some ideas. What I use, you can get started with... Um, with basically cooking molds. Like as long as it's the silicone cooking molds, like these are candy molds. I got them at a craft store. Look, these are pretty. I look for the pretty ones <laughs> and, uh, and I get them. So uh, if you could see, so the, this one, for example, has some uh, little creatures. I sell. Oh, and you have to show the. Yes. So when I, do, especially. when I do pieces like with this, I actually sell quite a bit. So look, this is one of the pieces that I did came straight from this mold. So look how, look how cool. It's just a cute little ladybug. And uh, I put, usually I just hang my, I just drill a little hole it's, here. This ladybug is so cute. I always one. sell this at the shows. Yeah. Then, for example, I have a butterfly. Came from this very same mold, as this, you can this see. This is what's so fantastic if you're thinking about selling. Yes. Right? Because you can, we, last year, there was a show on Halloween, correct? Yes. And you went and you made robots, uh, vintage robots and dinosaurs. Yes, I did. And how do you say they go like hot cakes? They sell like hot cakes. They sell like hot cakes. Yes. Yeah. So, for example, um, I have here another mold uh, that you can see the dinosaurs like you were talking about. Uh, so look, this is a cute, I, I just look, I basically just look in the candy aisle and the baking aisle for molds that are different. Yeah. And the, the dinosaurs are great. This sells amazing, uh, amazingly well. Yes. And it's not for kids, believe it or not. Yeah. We sold to adults more than we sold to kids, right? That's right. So here's, for example, a dinosaur. I sell a lot of the dinosaurs. And I put, I, so with one tablespoon, I can make at least two of these, about two of these. Um, and I sell, what, one for 20? Two for 30. So, and I sell these all day long at the shows. They're great. They're great for gifts and they're not, he they're not heavy at all. Um, so that's an example there. You talked about dinosaur. Well, I mean, because uh, this is a good segue actually. Kay. Because Catherine Appleby, I think, uh, is asking, can you paint on them? Yes. Now we have a colored piece showing right there Yes. Your hand. So here what I use is a colorant. You're going to mm -hmm. use like a grout uh, colorant type of thing. Which you, you also find at MondoMarketTV.com. Also on Mondo Market, and you mix it in with your concrete, and then you can make the colored pieces. So this is one example of the colored piece. But could I also paint with other types of paint? So uh, the, yes. here's the thing, not to color the whole concrete. Right, right. Right? Yeah, I do. I love doing that. I love coloring on top. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I have here this piece where I did, I put the glass. I love, I think the glass is so pretty. So I did a glass, a thing of glass there, and then I colored the surface with the, with the colorant. You see? And it's, look how pretty that is. And but I, I have bet another it example. could be pastels or other types as well, right? Oh, yes, You get a different, a different effect, but you yes. get the color So for there. example, I love this piece that I, ca I call this Moab. It reminds <laughs> me of arches. And um, here's, I use alcohol ink on this one. So you can, you can see where the, the spots came. And so look how pretty this is, right? I love this. And I just use the alcohol ink post. So you can see the back is, is um, actually the, still the white. You can see, you can tell that it was white. I like, I like this uh, rough kind of, not rough, how do you call it, Shahar? The more organic. More organic, yes. yeah. So see, that's what I did there. And you but, see, Katerine, she's, she's a jewelry designer, and she, she has never seen this before. Uh-huh. Katerine, I have to tell you, I don't know, I don't know if you do silver's mini, but whatever you use today, you quite possibly can incorporate with, the, with this white yes. cement. Yes. And uh, I have to, I know if you are a jewelry designer, you were worried with quality, how long the, the piece will last. They are quite resistant. They're very resistant. If you throw um, them on the floor, they will probably not break if they don't have too many uh, thin parts. Of yeah, course. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, hey, yeah, they're really resistant. I mean, so, mm -hmm. it's okay. like, I can kind of throw this, I can throw it on All the right. floor, and it's not going to break. Don't get too excited. Now, it's not unbreakable. It does break. 
but it yeah. takes quite a bit. Um, this, just another example of the cooking of the cooking molds, of the candy kind of molds. This, and to incorporate the painting, I did this, I found a little mold that had fishies in them. Oh, cute. Fish. And so I did this little mold. And then you know what I did, Shahar? Dory! <laughs> well, yeah. Kind Dory! Of. I got um, a Sharpie. Just a red sharpie, and I painted the areas so, in red. So, so for people like Catherine that like to paint, not only the paints in itself, acrylics would work, but if you have Prismacolor pens, for example, that would work. That would work as well. Yes. Yes, sharp is like she mentioned. Nashula, should we make an open frame so they see what's the technique on that? Yes, I let's think make an should. open frame. Let's so, take an open frame. What am I going to use for an open frame? What? Packing yes. uh, shipping tape. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to, whoo, that was loud. I'm going to get a piece of uh, the tape and I'm just, I kind of fold it over like this so I can put it on a surface. So I'm going to put it on my mat here so it's stuck into place. Okay. We have more people talking in Portuguese to us. Simone <laughs> is saying, muito legal essa técnica, parabéns menina. Woo! We're Simone from Texas. Yes. So Shahar, what mm. frame should we use? Can we use food coloring? Yes, you can, Margaret. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so what oh, frame should we I, use? I like these. I think these are so unique. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So look, I'm using one of these frames right here. And uh, I'm basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just place it on that tape. Kind so of press a recycled it. bottle piece. Right? So it's glued on to the tape, okay? Just put a little bit of pressure there. This is a recycled bottle. Recycled bottle. So now I'm going to mix my concrete. I'm gonna get my little my little cup. That's why it comes with more than one, right? Yes. Because <laughs> it sets fast. One tablespoon of concrete, one teaspoon of water. And my um, I put a little bit less than a teaspoon in this case to see if it's not too just to make Burning it a little like bit thicker so we can address what Roxy talked about earlier. And so actually this is a little too thick. Remember, pancake kind of mix. Just going to add a little bit more water. Now think about this. If you are an artist, how many things you can create. Because oh, yes. what we are providing today for you is some ideas. Right? Ideas of what can be made. You can go one step further and, you know, put your personality, your style, turn this into real art. Absolutely. But you might be a teacher, right? And like Dona Sonia. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then this is a fun activity that they will see a finished piece. So for kids, uh, it's really important to understand that today we need to invite them to go from abstract to concrete. So from an idea to a finished piece so they can understand all the emotions in between and that they can accomplish, they can make things with their hands. This is one perfect way of doing yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Now, if we can look from this other camera angle here on the seven, um, I want to show you something. So look, Roxy, I made this a little bit thicker. You can see that when I put my stick there, it pulls the concrete. So this is a pretty stick. It's already setting essentially, um, but I'm putting, I'm filling this piece right here with the concrete right to the edge. And, and when you're doing open frames, you do want to make it a little bit thicker because you don't want it to be too runny that it's going to uh, <laughs> go through underneath. So just think if you do silver smithing, if you work with wire, uh, all the frames that you could sure. create and then incorporate. Do you wow. think this is going to look pretty? I so do. look, I found this button at the, I look for buttons, just a button. <laughs> I um, used to, to go to the craft store alone and she would stay in the car. <laughs> now she runs before me. So look, I grabbed that and I just plopped it in there. There's really no other way of saying it. Now I'm just going to do a little tap tap so it sets a little. And plop, but plop, plop. Uh, you notice that when I do the tap tap, I, a couple things happened here. I wasn't too gentle. And so it overflowed a little and uh, my, my bead is kind of going under. So you can do a couple things. You can leave it like this. Uh, so you might not mind it. It actually looks pretty cool as it is. So mm -hmm, it I'm does. thinking about leaving it like this. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, when you're working at home, you don't have the pressure of time, right? cameras and, and interruptions. So it's exactly. a different deal, but it's going to look gorgeous. We are going to wait a little bit to see yes. if it sets. Now look, I used the button there mm -hmm. that I found, but look, I go to the craft store and I just look for cool things. And so like if I see a button that I like, I get the button. So look how many, this is a gorgeous, uh, uh, it's a bead. Yeah. I just, it, it was on sale, like two for 50 or something. Yeah. And I bought this whole strand of these beads, but it can be anything, anything. Yeah. And if you, for example, if you have one of those cutting machines at home that they cut anything right now, you can think about fabric. You can think about uh, 
cut, cotton. You can cut pieces of leather and combine with that. And I know what you're really thinking right now is, oh my gosh, I need to get this because it's a no-brainer. Yes, I do. can't be so creative to this year. Well, it's so easy. You go to mondomarkettv.com, mondo with M M O N D O, and you have on your screen market.tv.com and you get the kit that we have today. So you're going to get your container of concrete. You're going to get the open frames, not only this gorgeous one, but you're also going to get the, the royal blue ones. They're fantastic. Uh, the, the airline bottom the bottle bottom. bottoms. That word, forget <laughs> it. I cannot say it. And then you get, of course, the uh, the, the measuring cups and the cups and the, the little things. But if you do that today and today only, you are going to get two containers of super white concrete and not only one. So you're saving a lot. It's mm -hmm. always smart to, you know, it's think about great, that. It's a great deal. You'll get an extra, because if you were to buy... I don't know how much it is on Mondo Market right now, but if you were to buy just the, the concrete... I think it's 22 if I'm not Yeah, right. I yes. think it's something around there. So you're so saving at least for, $20 just by doing that. For the one kit, you get an extra jar of concrete that's more than half of what the kit would have cost to yeah, begin with. Yeah, and, so and Annette Cook is saying deal. here, mini, means a lot of stuff in the kit and a very reasonable price. Yes. Thank and, you, Annette. Yes, it is. Exactly. And they're cool. They're really pretty items. You can create some amazing pieces. I mean, if you sell jewelry you can <laughs> what you can do over 20 pieces here alone just in concrete not to mention if you're gonna get if because you're gonna order today you'll get two jars you can make over 50 pieces of concrete essentially um, of uh, 50 necklaces uh, with the concrete mm -hmm. plus you have the the inclusions the glass the sea glass that comes with it those alone will give you a lot of of pieces I mean look I use for one piece alone, I use one piece of glass. So yes. look at how many I necklaces mean, you can going, make. Really, yeah, 20 is just the, the start of that. Yes. So it's a no -brain. Do you have another demo that you want to do? We can do another. Okay, what do you what say? About, I like when you use the tiny, tiny f f f beads. So, or even the... Some so metal. just what to you give say? you some examples of inclusions, I have here a few just to show you. Um, I found these little gear things at the store. I think they're pretty. So we use it, Let's, uh, if you can see it from the top, um, some of these gear items. And then I have uh, some aquarium sand. It works mm -hmm. super fun for some pieces. The aquarium sand. Jen so is these, asking, uh, can, can I order more than one kit at that special offer? You can order. Of course. Look. We are going to be doing the happy dance, Jen. Yes. You make your order. Woo -hoo. She got it. Happy she dance. Got it. She yes. Got it. Uh, yes. Definitely, we're going to do the happy dance. So look, this is uh, some buttons that were that I use as examples. Mm -hmm. So just to show you a piece that I did with these buttons, exa for example. We have one right here. One right here that I did. So you can see, you can see here on this uh, other camera, uh, the close up. Seven. Yep, you can see it on the close-up there. Seven. There we go. So that's yep. one example. Um, I have another one. This is one of my favorites. I wear this all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. I love this piece. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it. So see, I just put the buttons in there. And look how cool. Now, what did I use for this? Like, notice this shape. You've seen me wear the, uh, showing you several examples of uh, necklaces with this shape. So what did I use? I'll tell you what I used. Um, I used ice cube trays. So if we can see the ice cube trays right here, yes. So look, just ice cube trays. That's so simple. Yes, and I pour the concrete in here. The main thing about these is that the, they're, they're like these little trendy ice cube trays now. I know, you get on those stores that they have the 20% off coupon every single day. <laughs> That's right. right. And they, uh, they have these little silicone bottoms so you can just pop the ice cube. You know, I have a person screaming here. I want to see fabric inclusions. Fabric inclusions, We don't have definitely. fabric, but we have fiber. Well, look, I don't have a... Fiber? We have fiber. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. I don't have fabric inclusions on, on the table right now, but I do have fiber. This is another example of, uh, or f I have uh, embroidery floss right I'm there. I'm going to give an idea with the fabric. You can, you can totally play with the fabric. You What's can. Your idea? Uh, one thing I, I would do is you have to protect the fabric from the elements because people will be wearing that. Uh -huh. So what I would suggest you is that you cut the piece of fabric that you want to, to add as an inclusion. Coat that with Mod Podge, or coat that even with UV resin, which we have here, but just a coat, 
And there you go, because then it, you know, it can get wet on a rainy day or on a snowy day. Yes. And you, it, woo, the sky's the limit for that. It really is. Mm -hmm. Plus, the fabric is fun because you can find uh, some unique patterns on there that you can yes. cut out the, yes. the designs on them. Uh -huh. and, and use it, incorporate it in your piece. It could be beautiful. Super. Uh, this, mm -hmm. what I used here, I found a brownie mold, a brownie, uh, what do you call this? Mold? Just like a brownie thing for you to put the, the brownie mix and then you bake it. <laughs> it's a brownie thing. I don't cook, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I found these. But she assumes that the brownie goes there. The brownie goes here. Right? Yeah, okay, and then? And then I cut it up. So I have these little, these little squares. Okay, that's all I did. So I got this at the cooking section, baking section, and I use it for my pieces. So, for example, this uh, piece here that we talked, that I showed earlier, the Moab piece, the, this piece came out of here. Okay, came out of this mold. So I use this mold a lot uh, because it makes it makes for a great little size. So should we make another piece, Shahar? I think you should make a piece. Uh, uh, so what what do you plan to do? I don't know. I'm kind of just going on the fly here. Okay, go go on the fly. So do you, were you going to say something? Well, Annette's talking about if she can change the shipping method in the order. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I don't know, Annette. I'm going to have to talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, let's. Well, once we go offline, we check that, uh, double check that. So I thing. wanted to move this. Oh, you're going to move it. But I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to leave don't it there because be I'm going to ruin it uh, if I try and move it. It's still kind of wet. Yes. Can so, you look, uh, work on that corner? Yes, I can, yeah. of course. Okay. Shahar, what should we do now? Um, do -ba -do. So why don't you use the just, buttons? Oh, the, the just, no, yeah, the buttons are a great idea. Uh -huh. I just wanted to talk about this. Talk about different uh, things. I, this, these are soda pop tabs. See, mm -hmm. and uh, if you can see here, I created a piece inside of yeah, them. Yeah. So Rox is just saying that she does fuse glass, and there's some really cool ideas that she can implement. Absolutely. And really, I think Nashala, if you put a percentage, I think you do. What, 70% with some type of glass? Yes. And then the rest you ex uh, Yes, I love the glass. I love the clear glass. Um, I, I don't know if I showed this earlier, but the clear glass on the concrete, I think it gives it depth. So you can see here, and this glass has a little bit of, um, I want to yeah. say, dichro thing. So, so here, for those that do play with glass, here's an idea. So you pour the concrete, you add some mica, Yes. And then you put the piece of transparent glass on well, top. Well, Shahar, if we're oh. going to talk about mica, let me show you this one. Oh, boy. So I did this piece here, and I did the concrete, and then I did the mica with the uh, acrylic, so with the explain, resin. So explain how you did that. Um, you first pour the concrete, right? I first pour, pour the concrete. I do have a course that I explained it in depth. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I poured the concrete and then I did, I poured a little bit of the, the resin and then I put the mica inside and then I topped it with the, with the resin again to encase it inside the... So endless possibilities, endless right? Endless possibilities, so yes, what, for what, sure. Why don't you do one with a sticker? With the sticker, because okay. I think this, the sticker is like people really don't connect that with jewelry much. Yeah. But when they see the possibilities, and then they add whatever they like, the glass, the metals, the whatever. Let's you can do make with the sticker. Pieces. I love the sticker because you can find stickers. You can find stickers of all kinds, mm -hmm. and they're so pretty. They are pretty. They <laughs> so are pretty. So one tablespoon of uh, concrete. One Jen is giving a suggestion, beer caps for the man cave man. Yes, exactly. Yay, yes. Exactly. And you can find the tabs, you can find them in colors too, without the branding. So here I found uh, at the thrift store actually, uh, these. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, at the thrift store, however, they are unused. And they even have the holes to, so you, to add as jewelry. So you can add to make it into a jewelry piece. But so here I'm going, I added my water. I actually added less than I needed, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to mix it up, and once I have it, I'm going to pour it into my mold, and I'm going to show you the, the brownie mold that I was talking about. Um, so this is a little too thick. See, I like, <laughs> too thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. I'm kind of going towards the less water just because it's so cold at the studio, and I want to show you, I want to show you the finished pieces. So now look, this is a little too liquidy. It would totally work. If yeah. you had the time, if you weren't in front of the camera and you didn't want to show, um, you would just let it sit a little bit longer. I'm going to add a little bit more concrete so you can see it. So while you do that, I'll, I'm going to remind you once again, you can get this kit today, which comes with the concrete. It comes with the open frames for the, the light blue 
bottles, the royal blue bottles, the bottom... The bottle bottoms. Bottle bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus uh, wood sticks and cups and measuring cups for you to create, start creating your pieces today. All you need to do is go to mondomarkettv.com and order your kit. If you order today, you're going to get an extra container of concrete, which means you are saving at least $22 just by doing that. It's a fantastic it's so deal. so cool. Yes, it really okay, is. So you didn't feel everything. Oh, and I have to say one thing. If you buy the kit, but you didn't take the course and you want to do that, you're going to have the chance to get the course at 30% off. So pay attention to the thank you page after you order, and you will be able to get the course at 30% off. This was a six hour course full of techniques yes I, I go techniques. in depth I we really had a good time yes uh, we did so many pieces I, I how many pieces did I we make like a lot a lot a lot yes so look stickers actually these aren't stickers what are these, these? Are pins. these are pins like the people for, use for, for paper stuff yeah. yeah at the store found these I thought they were interesting I thought hmm, maybe we could do some fun pieces with these so that's that but I have some stickers as well so I, I love the butterflies and they're, the main difference about these and regular stickers is that they have a, they're kind of puffy and plasticky, but they look nice. So there's that. Um, we talked about mica. Look, I have some mica sheets here. And you can even see, for example, this one right here. Um, I punched a little heart of mica, and I used it in my, in my piece. But remember, if you're going to do mica and concrete, you do have to use the resin. Otherwise, the mica will go away. Will peel off, so you don't yes. want that. Yes, Shahar. So pick. What are we going to do in this necklace? So pick, pick. Uh, we'll go Should we go a with butterfly. A, a butterfly? Yes. So and, and Charlotte is asking what kind of cement we are using. We are using super white concrete that you can get here at Curious Mondo. It is different than the concrete you would get at. Uh, uh, home improvement store because of course that concrete needs to be mixed in order to be uh, resistant and it's not white it doesn't even the white one is not white so this one will give you a pure white which if you want to paint on top of it if you want to add pigments to that if you want to create 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 yeah. that's the right one for you Okay. I lost my piece. Oh, the butterfly. Um, no, I still have it. <laughs> so you still have it. I, Didn't fly away. I forgot to bring um, the tweezers. A tweezer. Yeah. And this is sticky. <laughs> so it sticks to my finger. Um, but here's what I'm thinking about. I'm going to put the, the, the flower and then I want to put the the butterfly Ooh, in there. Ooh, going to the flower. Tell yeah. me a story. Exactly. I try my best to tell the story when I'm doing these pieces, actually. the Like the little butterfly, the little... Um, Very small one. This little itty bitty one, the little turtle I showed you in, in the beginning at some point, like this one, to me, it's the little turtle uh, going hatch, away from the sand and into the, the water yeah, after they hatched. That's gorgeous. That's what I that's was going for. That's one of my favorite for. pieces. So there I put the little butterfly. Yeah. And, and normally you wouldn't be moving things, right? When you're yeah, working. You have no. to, you know, go zen, right? <laughs> Breathe deep. You know, wait. That's right. Right? Uh, You're going to have your, for example, your needle tool. Don't touch tool. the table so it doesn't move too much. I use a needle tool. Yes. And with that needle tool, I position the thing. So, like, I'll put the butterfly in here. And with my needle tool, I'll kind of move things around. Yeah. Uh, just a tiny bit. Push it to the side. Put, put it exactly where you envision it. Yes. Um, and use a tweezer. makes it easier. Uh, but our, that's, our, our purpose today is really to show you the possibilities of concrete. It's to get the wheels turning. And, and really basic things that you can do that could... Yes. Yes. could generate also income if that's that's your proposal right mm -hmm. I want to generate some income for a school fundraiser you know or you have a bazaar that you're going to be participating anyway so you want to take some pieces that are going to sell so it's a creativity of course in the course we took this to a whole new level yeah and then we went into art for the pieces which are totally possible but if you get the versatility of this material, yes. right? Absolutely, that's exactly it. It's super versatile. Uh -huh. It allows you to basically, as long as you can think about it, think it up, you can create. Mm -hmm. And if you have skills like silversmithing or wire wrapping, yeah, you can combine wow. it with wow. the concrete. Because and think about these pieces. pieces with a nice round then uh, wire wrapped. Exactly. It would be amazing. Exactly. Look, this is just to show you another example. Um, here's a piece of the, I found, I just bought this base at the store, just mm -hmm. like uh, it came empty. I poured the concrete, I kind of stained my concrete. I put a little piece of glass here at the bottom and then this is a magnet. 
It's actually, it was on your board. I just yeah, I it. had some birds on my board, and they start to disappear. Yes, slowly. Put, well, look how pretty this looks, Shahar. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Come it on. was worth it. It, it. Much, it would look good on my board, too. Much better than on your board. Now we can wear it. So uh, what I'm, what essentially what I'm trying to say is you can use anything uh, as long as it looks pretty. I love getting these items that, are, um, that aren't supposed to be pretty and mm -hmm. just making them so gorgeous, combining them, bringing them together and making yeah, them gorgeous. I, I love to. Let's show a few more pieces before we go. I want to show you to show mold into mold and some with the, the little, little frit balls over there. And this one that is gorgeous. This one. Yes. Okay. So I love this one. Uh, this one. Look at this. I used. Uh, a the idea was mine, by the way. That what one do you was, mean the idea was yours? I made the first one out of resin. Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely yes. So I bought these little these little trees at, in the oh. in the paper embossing section yeah. kind of thing at the store. They're and they're some super type of cute. Wood, yeah. So look, I put I made my concrete. I wanted to make it look like night. Okay. So I, I painted my concrete. I uh, <laughs> used my um, colorant, the pigment, t to make it gray. And then I put the trees. And here's, look, recognize this little butterfly? That's oh. from our little sticker pad that we were using. Don't tell me that's not gorgeous when you're I think it's beautiful. Like it's a beautiful piece. Uh, so that I combined the two things, the butterfly and the, and the trees. You talked about... I, I talked about this one because I think it's a cool idea. This right here, I use... Um, th these are shells. So look. Shells. At the store, I bought these shells. Mm -hmm. And they are, they are tinted shells, right? They're tinted shells, yeah. and they're shiny, and they're pretty. So I started playing with them, and I made this piece right here with these little uh, acrylic. These are glass-filled balls, glass-filled acrylic balls. Which is easy to find today, especially in embossing uh, sections of... Yes. yes, also at the... Um, and then I use, for example, this one. It's you f I found it at the nail nail art section. Mm -hmm. They have these little balls for you to put on your nails. It's, but I, I don't, you know, the nail thing's not my thing. But hey, I thought these are pretty. We can make them into necklaces. So I put them into this. Um, so that's an example there. Cool. Um, the, the, the molding to mold, I think, is a cool idea. This right here, what I did was, I used I used the square mold, like a square uh, mold, like the brownie mold I showed you, but. I had a candy mold for chocolate that looked like these little itty bitty ones. So first I did, I colored my concrete yellow. I put it in the candy mold and got just the centerpiece. Then I created a, with another square mold. I filled it with the white concrete and I placed the concrete inside the concrete and I have this beautiful piece. And I love, I love how it looks actually. Yeah, it, we, you have that in every single color. Pop yeah, up. it's so much fun because it's you can do it cool. in many different colors. Cool. Guys, I, we really hope, thank you very much, Nashua, yes, for being here. Yes, of course. Uh, and this was just a touch of what can just be done. Just a glimpse. So we wanted to make sure that you never did anything, you, you're not playing with jewelry, but you would like to. Well, here you go. Simple techniques. Yes. You are playing with jewelry. You're already a professional. You're a glass artist. You make and beautiful you're things. Thinking about how could I try something new? Well, this is for you. You are a fiber person, and you like fiber. You like to embroider. Can you I like show to, one more? You can, but th let me talk first. All right. Uh, you 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 like embroidery. You you have another passion because let's face it, most of us artists we have more than a passion. Well, you sh you saw that you can even embroider. Do some embroidery. Of course, she had to do and everything. The course covers easy all that. Easy peasy, though. But it's easy peasy. Yes. And you create. Well, just think. Let Let's just pretend. Okay. You belong to an embroidery guild in your town, right? Mm -hmm. And every month you go and you're working. I don't know needlepoint, cross stitch, whatever it is. But you arrive there. Hi, girls. How you doing? Yeah. And you are wearing this gorgeous piece of concrete of all things. Yes. That is all embroidery. Embroidered right? In, that's by embroidered, you. yes. Think about that. Or you Beautiful. are a wire wrapping artist and you create that amazing frame for the amazing piece yes. of concrete inside. Just, just, just think. Just think. What do you want to show them? Well, what I was going to say is, and if you sculpt, right? Oh, yeah. You can even create, so for example, Shahar sculpted out of wax this, uh, this wolf. So look, then we casted it into the concrete. So I, now, like, I like to play with polymer clay a lot. So I created these, 
and she made it out of concrete. I also made that same wolf out of silver. Yes. Right, with the lost wax cast. But look, so here I, I like it in the white. I like it as a white wolf, yeah. but you could make it in any color. And, you and can, if you like to paint, like I think Kath Kathleen, Kathleen. Yeah, you can even paint uh, it over top, like the, yeah, the, the think eye, about this. The, the, the work that could come out of this. It could be so gorgeous. And we had some questions before about thing, uh, people think, yeah, but isn't this the same as plaster? No, it's not. No. Totally different thing. And you're going to see uh, it doesn't stay on your skin whatsoever. And you can wear on your yes. skin without any issues. Uh, it doesn't break. I mean, it I breaks mean, it, if it you breaks, throw from but... one side of the room to the other. <laughs> but it's pretty resistant. But a quick fall is not going to happen anything. And it's just a different type of material. It has nothing to do with plastic. Yes. I think we cover a lot today, right? I think so. I think there's only one thing now that people need to do. I agree. Go, Go to, to mondomarkettv.com. <laughs> No, we don't talk on top of okay, each Okay, so other. just to reiterate what we what you're going to get when you go there. Yes, do uh, that. You're going to get half a pound of concrete, but if you do it today, when you do it today, you're actually going to get an extra jar, so you'll get one pound of concrete. Uh, but you yes. get the, the half a pound of con one pound of concrete. You get the beautiful glass cabochons, the rainbow-colored ones that you see on the right-hand side. Uh, they make stunning pieces. You get the, the blue, the sky blue cabochons, glass cabochons that you see there on the left. You also get another set of colored cabochons, glass cabochons that you see it towards the, the bottom of the, the top of the screen there. And you get the sea glass. You see it in the, in the royal blue and the, the yeah. trend. And, and, and let's face it, unless you are a glass artist, it's very difficult to get this type of piece. Exactly. Right? That's why so I included it. You're not only saving over $20 because you're getting another container of concrete. It's really quite tough to find this glass pieces anywhere unless you're a glass artist. Exactly. Then it's easy for you. And if you didn't take Nationalist course when we were live, yes. on the thank you page when you buy, you're going to have the chance to get it for 30% off. That's the same amount that we offer people when we yes. are live. So it's a huge deal. Yes. Over six hours of content. So It's a great course. Yeah. And if you face any issues because some of you are not in the country or you want to change the shipping or whatever is the issue, here's the phone number for you. 801. Write that down. Should I say it? 330-9010. Okay. That's right. Write that down. 801-330-9010. You need to wait until we are offline because <laughs> we can multitask up to a point, <laughs> right? But take that decision today. It really yes. you're saving and you're getting something really cool. And I can only wait to see what you create out there. I want to thank everybody. Uh, yes. We have a lot of uh, a lot of people here. Uh, you even need to say hi to your sister in Brazil. She's hi. watching. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know, thank you very much. Of course, the the video stays on Facebook and stays on YouTube and on yes. the, the website. So you have those twenty four hours to make your decision. Take also the time to give a like, send some hearts, or share. Even better, right? Yes, please share. Yes. Next week we are going to be here with Jody McCraney, Russia. Woo! She is going to be talking about modes again. So so you don't want to miss that. Same, yes. The same bad time, same bad place, <laughs> right? Every Thursday, 2.30 p.m. Next week, we also have Wednesday, where we are going to be showing you how to make beer. Ooh, oh, boy. Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a new show that wow. we have on, on sustainability, how you can create and raise things around you. So you don't yes. want to miss that. It's going to be really cool. The host is going to be Scott Romick. So you want to make sure you're here for that. So... Go to mondomarktv.com, get your kit, get the extra concrete. If you run into any issues, 801-330-9010. That's right. Yeah, thank you so much for spending some time with us. We'll see you again next week. See ya.